Hey everyone, so um, I got a new fish. Um, basically, this guy's a, a geometric hawkfish, so they're basically like a pygmy perchlet species. They, they're really cool. I don't know, I like them a lot. They're kind of a smaller species. They're really cryptic. They fit into really small tanks, and they, they look really nice. I like the patterning, the finish, and, and the way they swim. I always like fish that like have more character. They, they don't just swim around like mindlessly. They, they kind of like, like mandarins. They like... They're very precise in what they do and they look, they like swim around slowly or they investigate everything they do. And I really like those fish. And I also liked him because I didn't realize this when I got him, but he can see exactly what I was doing. I was filming him yesterday and he just sat there like looking straight at me, or at least that's what it feels like. So they look really cool. Um, they're, I don't know, I like them a lot. So that's why I got him. He's been on my bucket list for a while. Actually, I've wanted this fish for over a year and I just wanted to get him and I finally found one. So. I got him locally. So I got him a little over two weeks ago. Normally I'd quarantine for another week or two just to make sure he's fine. But because he's not eating and it's a fish I've been looking for forever and I've never been able to find one before, I don't want to risk him. He's getting a bit skinnier than I would have liked. He's not really eating anything I give him, which, which sucks, but I think he'll be okay with all the stuff in the display. He should be fine. Um, the quarantine tank is pretty well established. I've had it running for over a year, but... There's not, there's not nearly as much life and things for him to eat in that quarantine tank as there is in the display. So I think he should be better off in the display. So I'll get back to you guys when I catch him out of the tank, which is going to be a pain because there's way too many rocks everywhere. So I don't know how I'm even going to get him out, but I'll get back to you guys when I do. All right, so I, I finally caught him. It was significantly easier than I thought it would be because... I just moved all the rocks around. He was pretty slow, to be honest. I thought he was going to be really fast and hide everywhere, but he was pretty easy to catch. He looks pretty good. Um, I don't see any visual stuff, which is why I put him in this white little jar thingy. I just, I just I like to see if there's anything wrong with him before putting him in the tank. Um, because it, I don't know, it's good to inspect them before you put them in the tank, just to see what, what's wrong with them. So um, I'm just going to throw him in the tank. Um, the parameters of the quarantine and the display are, are pretty much identical, basically. So, I'm not even going to acclimate him. Just throw him in. He should be fine. So, I'll put in some footage and just talk about him more once I get him in the tank. So, yeah. Okay, so I finally um, got some good video of him. And it's been, like, over two weeks since I put him in the display tank, which really sucks. And he's just been super skittish. I don't even know why, but... He's been hiding in these holes and like for the first like week I didn't even see him. I've just been seeing him for this past week and he's becoming more and more outgoing and kind of coming out more. But when I tried to film him for the first week, he'd perch in the exact same spot every day. You can see right here in like the under some rock. I don't even know which rock, but just some random rock. He just perches there. I would I would like walk up to the tank and then he just like jump away as quickly as possible. And yeah, so he's he was really skittish, but he's finally started to get used to the tank, I think, and he's looking good. Um, I think he'll be good. He looks healthy, and I've had him for a month now, so I think he'll be good. And he's still not eating, which is frustrating, but, you know, there's nothing I can do, I guess. I've been trying to feed him mysis and brine, and he just looks at it. He's like, nope, I don't want it. So then I guess he's getting some food in the tank because he's not really skinny, and yeah, so... He's not very active, to be honest. He kind of just sits in the same spot, and he moves a little bit. So he probably moves, like, maybe 10 feet during the entire day. So it kind of just scurries around, and he has, like, five or six spots that he goes and sits and perches in, and he doesn't really do anything else. I don't even think the other fish notice him. He's, like, really tiny and basically out of the way, so... He's been really peaceful so far. I haven't seen him disturb any corals or anything. And he's been really nice to have, honestly. Um, I don't see him all the time, but I've been seeing him more and more. So at the beginning when I got him, I maybe saw him like 10% of the time. And now I'm starting to see him like 80% of the time. He has like five or six perching spots that I always find him in. Find him in. So, um, yeah. So far, it's been really great. He actually doesn't swim out in the open. He just perches the entire day, and I kind of see him, like, almost walk. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's basically walking. He has, like, these really big, um, 
uh, pectoral fins, and he just kind of like uses them and kind of like crawls. I mean, that's like the best description I can give of it. And um, yeah, so, uh, what he normally does is he just um, perches in a spot for like five, ten minutes, and then he kind of scurries, like, crawls away, I guess. Um, yeah. So I really actually like the pattern on it. It's actually going to become a lot more defined once I got him into like nicer lighting. Because uh, in the quarantine tank, I had like really crappy lighting. It was like a random like desk lamp that I just had lying around. So the color has become a lot more defined, and I just and like the the finish is also like really pronounced. Like the 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 bottom fins are really large. Like if you see him like dart out or anything, you can see how big the um, bottom fins are and then the top fins like a bright white and red and light red is like a rare color in fish i feel like eh, i don't know but there's there's a couple of fish like flame angels and stuff but red and white is like i don't know i really like that combination and he's a really cool fish so yeah and he's pretty cheap too i think i paid like 20 20 bucks for him or 25 dollars for him so he's a really cool fish honestly if you guys like small fish definitely go and get one they're like super easy super peaceful they don't really disturb any corals or anything as far as i know uh, i think he'll start perching on corals soon like maybe some leathers or something if you have like a big toadstool maybe he'll perch on that but other than that he's been really cool and i've had an issue with getting him to eat but i'm i think that'll get fixed over time and he's really small and like doesn't really have a high metabolism he doesn't swim a lot so i think it should be cool for him to just eat whatever's in the tank so I've really enjoyed having this fish. So if you guys like the video, um, comment, subscribe, you know, do all those things. If you guys have any questions about about this fish or anything, just just leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. So thank you guys for watching.